Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to do the continuity of the previous message. If you have not listened to the first episode of this very message, please, I would like you to do to, to listen to it for your own good because you will not be able to understand what I'll be teaching here. I, I, I did a skeleton work in the other episode, so I'm just trying to clue it here. So now I'm trying to know we are the skeleton some flesh for a better understanding. So please, I'll be dropping the link on the comment section. Listen to the first part before this one. If you have not listened to the first part, God bless you. Today, I'll be showing us another dimension of this very message. I remember before I started talking about Eber Damina during the days of my correction and prophecies concerning the fathers and the, the man prophet T.B. Joshua. I told us that God took prophet T.B. Joshua away because of the evil and the trouble that is coming. That was one of the reasons God took him away, I told us. First, I told us because the time of the young prophet is closed. Second, I told us that because of the judgment that is coming, the trouble, the evil that is coming, God removed him so that he will not face the shame alongside with them. For they shamed him already while he was on earth. So if he bears such reproach, it's not advisable or wise that he should join them also in their reproach. No. You understand? The Bible said those that died the first death will not die the second death. In other words, those who went through the first tribulation will not go through the second tribulation. So at this point in time, those of the synagogue of Satan who call themselves Jews are to face the, the next predicament. So the Lord took him away. Now, I want to show us something. While T.B. Joshua was with them, they hated him. In one voice, togetherly, they condemned him. They joined forces together to destroy one man. So when the Lord removed him, remember I told us that he was the symbol of mercy, that his dispensation was a dispensation of mercy. And when he died, the dispensation of mercy ended. So the dispensation of judgment was to come. But before that, God allowed another time and another season to come, which is the season of Abel Damina, to fulfill the prophecies of Daniel. And what was the mission? Just the same way, many people join force together to cast one man down. That is the same way one man will cast many people down. So they will reap the fruits of their doing. They hated peace and God gave them trouble in Abel Damina. They hated quietness and God gave them noise in Abel Damina. I want you to look very well. While T.B. Joshua was still alive, Ebedamina was not trending the way he is trending now. And there was nothing like this going on in the earth. For you to understand that life is time and season. That is why I teach us astrology. I teach us time and season. And I've told us here before, if you neglect astrological sermons and prophetic sermons, you will remain in darkness. You will remain in blindness. You need this kind of teaching for your eyes to be opened. Now, when that dispensation of T.B. Joshua was taken away, Damina came in so that these people will reap what they sowed. They joined force together to cast one man down. And one man came and casted many down. They reap what they sowed. Why? Remember I told us that there is vengeance in the heart of the dragon. That sin is seeking vengeance. And I told us there is anger in the heart of Damina. Just the same way there is anger in the heart of the dragon that possessed him. So, and each time Satan sees avenue to strike, he says, break the hedge and the serpent will bite. So, they broke the hedge because they sinned against God by fighting God's own and committing other sin and iniquity. So, that was a gateway for the dragon to enter their midst and deal with them. In order for this to happen, the dragon had to possess one of them. When Jesus was to be betrayed, who did the dragon possess? One of them. One of him. 
Judas Iscariot. Now, when prophecy talked about one was going to betray him, there was no name mentioned. But the life Judas lived fit in for that prophecy. And the devil took him and used him as the vessel to fulfill that prophecy. When Daniel talked about this errand, he didn't call the name of Damina. But because of the life Damina lived before, for he was a thief. Judas was a thief. He was stealing. Now look at the messages he was teaching. I gave us an example before. A man that can center everything on money. He even used his mouth to tell you people that he was the Baba of them all in that kind of monetization ministry, commercialization ministry. So for you to know that he was Judas, he was a criminal among them. They all were criminals, but he was more of a criminal than the rest. So that staff, that destiny, that lot rested on him to fulfill that ministry. So that is why he came out of them. Judas came out of them. John said, they came out of us, for they were not of us. Judas was never of them. Jesus said, I choose all of you, but one of you is a devil. Are you seeing that? Judas was a human like Damina. Judas was a minister like Damina. He was following Jesus as Damina claimed also that he was following Jesus. But he was a thief, just as Damina was a thief. And he came out of them to betray the master. So people now see a betrayer as a hero because we are in a, 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 in a venomous generation. A generation that will choose lie than truth. That is why the Bible said, because they hated truth, he sent the spirit of delusion into the world that they may believe a lie. Now, when they committed all this atrocity and abomination, the Lord was not happy about all these things. He was displeased. And then the church was polluted. He had to destroy the church again to build a better church. What did Jesus do? He said, destroy this church in three days that we build it. By what men told was the church destroyed? First, there was betrayer. And who did that betray? J Judas. He betrayed him and they destroyed him. And on the third day, he resurrected. Now, what am I saying? When they messed up during their, their era and the era of Prophet T.B. Joshua, God wanted to destroy that church and build a better church. But before that church will be built, there must be a betrayer. And that is Damina. And that betrayer must first of all set them out. And that church will be casted down. That is why the Bible said that the temple, the temple, the sanctuary, his sanctuary was casted down. The sanctuary that this goat exalted himself, magnified himself to the prince of the host, and his sanctuary was casted down. Are you seeing that now? So now the church was need, need to be destroyed. So it is after the destruction of the church that the young prophet will now come. Then that is the resurrection of truth. Then Damina will be casted down. Are you seeing the mystery? Now, let me take us to the book of Daniel, the same place we read again. This time around, I want to show us some oracles in that place. Now, if you study that Daniel 8, you see verse 3. Then I lifted up my eyes, and I saw, and behold, there stood before the river, a ram, which had two horns. And the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher came up last. And I saw the ram pushing westward, and northward, and southward, so that no beast might stand before him neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand but he did according to his will and became great now this ram i told you um is the man adeboe and onyedi for the two horns but one is higher and that is adeboe so now this um ram the bible said he pushed west north northward southward child of god you will discover they didn't mention anything like eastward here do you know why? Because the oracles of God reveals that the man that will come and overtake them, that the man that God is going to use to judge them and cast truth down, will come from the east. So there is a space in the east spiritually that these people could not occupy. That is why they push westward, northward, southward, and that of the east was not what occupied. So because a man will come from the east, that we would overtake that God is going to use to judge. So when you read and discover that that a certain came and casted that goat down, broke him with that arm, that setting was to come from the east. That is why all these people who pushed 
pushed westward, northward, and southward. They didn't push eastward because that was the space where the young prophet is to resurrect from. That is where his grave is located spiritually. That is where he's to what? Resurrect from. And in his resurrection, there will be a better and a stronger church. So for the first church to go, God had to give a season to lie to the dragon to prevail against the church because the first church sinned, transgressed, and it was not beautiful in the sight of the Lord. So the church ought to be what casted down for a stronger church to be built. So that is what the Bible said, until the time of the Gentiles be expired, Jerusalem will be trodden down. Are you seeing that now? So Jerusalem will be built again, new one will proceed when the time of the Gentile is expired. And it is that time that Damina is operating on, the time of the dragon to disgrace the church because they ate. But there's another time where a man shall resurrect from the east. And from that east, he will spring forth and bring judgment to the house of God. And a stronger church will emerge. Are you getting? Now, I want you to take note. The Bible says that he did according to his will. It means this first church did not do the will of God. It was their will they did. It was their will. That is why they could persecute the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, because they didn't allow the Spirit of God to guide them and lead them in all they did. No, they didn't acknowledge God in all their ways. They were doing their will. So when they saw a man who was doing contrary to their will, even though it was the plan of God, they fought that man. It was in their will they overemphasized tithes. It was in their will that they overemphasized sowing of seed. It was in their will that they gathered so much and they gave little. They didn't help the widows and the poor. It was in their will they supported politicians. And that is why if you look, you will discover that even their dispensation is tied to the political dispensation also. If you check, no man from the East has ruled since their regime. No man, because a dispensation and a dispensation works together. What am I saying? When you look at the dispensation of Elijah, you will realize that Ahab was on the throne. Because Elijah was a good prophet, there was contention. But other prophets were demonic. They, they followed lies. Except those who were reserved in the cage where Obadiah was feeding them with bread and water. But they were afraid. So when Elijah was to go, Elisha took his place. And if you check, you will discover that the king that Elisha met died by the hand of Jehu. And another king was enthroned, which is Jehu. What am I saying? When a new general emerges, new dispensation of government will come. So you see that this kind of spiritual government in the kingdom of God, I'm talking about the church now, that pushed to the west, south, east, north, has connection with those that are ruling now. And they are working hand to hand. They have eaten bribe, they are corrupt, and they cannot do anything about the present situation. But the day a man will emerge from the east, a prophet, that is the day a man will come to rule Nigeria from the east. Mark my word. These are prophetics. So now, the Bible said they did according to their will, not the will of God. That is the transgression. So, and this was a dispensation. And that dispensation killed the man, Prophet E.B. Joshua. The dispensation of mercy. So vengeance and wrath came after them. In the order of the dragon, not the order of Christ, the Prince of Priests, who will use the young prophet as a body to come and reckon and to judge. So in this very order, if you read verse 5 now, and as I was considering, behold, and he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth. Are you seeing that? Came from the west, still among them, not east, among them. Damina is among them. And touched not the ground. And I told us the reason he did touch the ground is because he's a dragon. And I'm going to prove it to you how a he goat became a dragon. Now, and the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. This is to tell you that there was a season fulfilled whereby the ram pushed northward, westward, southward, and none could deliver from his hand. He did according to his will, and he was great. It's a dispensation. But another dispensation came, which is the dispensation of Damina. This is the second vision Daniel saw now. In the same vision, he saw another error, another dispensation, where a goat emerged now. So when this goat came by time and by season, given to him, he was able to prevail against the ram. 
and the ram was broken. Now, if you read verse 10, you will realize, and it was great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. Child of God, the ghost, how did goats cast down stars? To tell you that the goat has wings, that the goat is a dragon, that the goat flies. Now, if you study the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 3 to 4, the Bible said, And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. Are you seeing that now? And did cast them. So the dragon casted stars to the earth. Now they are telling you that goat casted stars to the earth. Why did they use goat? Because goat represents human. Anima represents human. But the goat are those human that have goaty attitude. The ones that are not of God, that belongs to the devil. Why the ram or sheep are those ones that belong to God? So, but the reason the goat could fly, it is because it is not by the goat's power that the goat was really. No, it was by time and season given to the dragon. So the dragon had to look for one and possess, just as he possessed Judas. The Bible said, and the devil possessed Judas. He was first addressed as a devil. Jesus said, one of you is a devil. But when the time came, the Bible said, and the devil entered him. That's to tell you, the real devil entered the first devil. The second devil entered what? The first devil. So what am I trying to say by read the first devil and the second devil? Judas was a devil by attitude already because he looked like the devil. He emulated the devil. Paul said, be ye imitators of God. But Judas imitated Satan. So when Satan wanted to fulfill prophecy and use the time given to him, he entered a man that looked like him. So those of you who choose to look like Satan, continue. Very soon he will possess you and use you to your own destruction. Now the Bible said that Satan possessed Judah and used Judah to go and betray. And that's what I've explained to you already. So how did goats get to the sky and cast their stars down? Remember I told us that you reign from the firmament until a man appear in the firmament spiritually. He cannot reign. It is only the stars that appear there that can reign. And I told us that when Satan cast a man down, such a man will lose his reigns, his value. Now look at what happened. So long the stars were still there, up there, they were acknowledged, they were respected and honored. But the day the God casted them down, they lost their value. Look at the church today. Your men of God are reproached because a goat grew wings of ego. Sorry, of dragon rather. It was the woman which had that grew wings of ego, which I taught you the mystery before concerning the young prophets. But this one grew the wings of a dragon and went to the firmament and casted your pastors down. So that's why I told you, the Bible said that this goat did not do this thing by his own. No, it was by a host, a host. There was a host. And I told you that Satan is a host also. He's an angel that fell. So it is by the power of Lucifer, the dragon, the serpent, that this goat was able to break the ram. Are you seeing the mystery now? So now, the Bible just showed us now in Revelation how the dragon cast the stars down. And you see goat casting stars down. I will take us to the book of Genesis for you to see more about what I'm saying. More, more uh, similarity, more homogeneity between Damina, which is the goat now, and the dragon, which is the Lucifer. Now, Genesis chapter 3. Now, we read from 1. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the feet which the Lord God had made. Are you seeing that now? The serpent was more subtle. Damina is more subtle than your pastors. He's more intelligent. He's more cunning than your pastors. For this, your pastors are beasts. Damina also is a beast. When I'm talking about beasts, I'm not talking about the insultive term of the word beast. No, I'm talking of, of animal. And one, some were grouped as what sheep and some were grouped as goat. So these are beasts now in the feed. For humans are beasts. Understand the term I'm speaking from. Now, the serpent was more subtle, just as Damina is more intelligent, more subtle than all of them, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So, the first thing the serpent did here, as soon as Satan possessed that serpent, just as he possessed Damina, was to dig out, to find out. So, Damina entered them. To find out. Damina entered them to what? Find out. So he knows what they know. 
and he knows what they do not know. That is why he's able to destroy them. Are you seeing that now? Now, verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest he die. Just as God said, Do not touch your tithes. Do not touch your tithes. You can spend all the money, but the one tenth, do not eat. The fruit in the middle of the garden was the tithes in that place. But the serpent taught them how to eat it. Just as Damina is teaching you people how to eat your tithe. You will die. You people have died already. The death I'm talking about now is not physical. It's spiritual death. You have died. That is why you people are separated from God already. Friendship with this world is enmity with God. People are, someone is teaching you worldliness. And you follow that worldliness. And left the true doctrine and the faith. Because of the foolishness of the fathers. And how they abused this titan offering and everything they did. Two wrongs cannot make a right. The fact the fathers missed it does not mean you should miss it also. So if he focused on teaching you people uh, the, the, where the, 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 the aspect the fathers are missing it, it will make sense. No, he also taught you people how to miss it too. Now verse 4, And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall, shall not surely die. There are men of God telling you, if you do this, this will happen to you. But Damina came and told you people, if you do it, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. You will not die. Verse 5, For God do know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. Damina came to open your eyes, you people said. Now look at what happened. Did Satan end up opening their eyes or not? He did open their eyes, but to what? To their own shame and nakedness. Their own shame and nakedness. Damina has succeeded in opening you people's eyes to your own shame and to your own nakedness. For it was better that you were naked and did not know that you were naked. Yes. Because this, the Bible said the man and woman were naked, but they were not ashamed. Are you seeing that now? When you people were still naked and you were not ashamed, it's better. That was the period you people had God, the glory of God covering you. That is when people can think of spirituality and seek the face of God to hear from God. But a man came with a doctrine, with a dispensation, with a teaching that destroys every connection between man and God. Now, men can't seek the face of God again. Men can't hear God again. All they do is exegesis on letters. Reading letters like, like Bible study. I'm talking about Kanna Bible study, ordinary Bible study. Not looking at the deep things of God or hearing from God again. No, to the point that they don't even believe in angelic visitation again. That angels teach or whatever. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took off the fruit thereof and did it and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did it. Are you seeing that now? When these people saw the teachings of Damina, that it was opening their eyes they followed child of god it is better to be blind than to see jesus told the pharisees that it is better that you were blind for those that are blind see but those who see are blind that is what he told the pharisees child of god when the son of noah saw the nakedness of his father he would have just hid his face from it but when he chose to see the nakedness he was cursed that is why many of you are cursed with a great cause because you choose to see the nakedness of the fathers but the wise sons hid their face from that nakedness and covered it. I'm showing you Bible. You wanted me to prove from the Bible and not just teach you vision. I am teaching you vision and Bible because you can't stop me from prophesying. But I will also show you what I prophesy from the word of God. Are you seeing that now? Men choose to be what wise and they died. The Bible said, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear God and depart from evil. Are you seeing that now? They love the teachings. That it was opening their eyes. The Bible also said the woman saw that the food was attractive. It was good to the sight. And it was good for food. Many of you like to eat tight before. Child of God, if, if before Damina came, people had issue with tight. Even though they believe that it is right to pay tight. They had issue with it. There is this demon that always resists them from paying tight. No matter how small the money is, even 10 naira, 20 naira, is, they can dash 50,000 to people. But that fidelity... That accountability that is attributed to tithe, they can't keep. They have issue with it. They can't just take that record. To tell you that there is a spirit compelling people to violate it. Child of God, 
before God will wake up and, and start complaining that they are stealing his tithes. Child of God, you should understand that this is a weightier matter in the spirit. Can a man rob God? He asked a question. And they said, no. But he said, he have robbed me. He said, wherein have you robbed me? He said, in tithe and offering. In tithe. So it, there is a conjunction there. If you pay offering, then you should pay tithe. Yes. You can't pay offering and not pay tithe. No. In tithe and offering. So if you stop paying tithe, then stop paying offering too. So that we just know that your, your criminology spirit is, is full measure. Yes, since he's not teaching you people how to steal, that is the, the, the message, criminology. That's what you people are studying and you, you are graduating from that criminology university. Very soon, he will give you people certificates to hell. So now, God complained. It's in tight and offering. And he told you, bring ye the tight. Before God started, this is not man speaking, this is God. And the man came and told you that God was complaining. He was talking to the priest. Okay, let's say that he was talking to the priest, that they were abusing the tithes. Does Now, that's why I told you that the fact the fathers abused it does not mean you should not pay. So long God complained at all is an issue. Are you seeing that now? If the fathers went wrong, then you too should not go wrong. Pay your own and leave them for God. So when God now come to judge, he will judge them only. No, you choose to see the nakedness of Noah. That is why you people are cursed today. What did God say? He said you are cursed with a curse because they didn't pay tithe. I now told them they should pay, that he will rebuke the devourer. He will do this, he will do that. I'm not here to teach mainly on tithe. In my next episode, I will teach on tithe severely and I will show you scriptures that will open your eyes to the nonsense this man is teaching you people. But I'm just touching it based on the context here, based on what we are treating, the, the passage we are reading. This man taught you people how to eat tithe and it pleased you people. It became a nice thing and you people fell for it and you died. You were separated from God. You can't hear God again. That is why such people, when you tell them to go and seek the face of God, is a difficult thing because they know God won't talk to them. They won't hear. So it's a body. Rather, they will come to the comment section to attack because they know it will be a waste of time to go and seek the face of God because they know they have no connection with the Father anymore. I told them in my last message, go and seek the face of God and confirm if what I'm saying is true. They didn't bother to seek because they know they won't hear. Now let me show you. Verse 7. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves apron. Are you see how people created a doctrine and a dogma for themselves? They clothed, they gave themselves another righteousness that is not the righteousness of Jesus. Child of God, we end up in another heaven, in another heaven that is not of God, and that is the devil's heaven. Verse 8, the one that Damina is taking you people to. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord amongst the tree of the garden. And the Lord, now are you seeing that how, how men hid themselves from the presence of the Lord? These people are afraid of prophecy. They are afraid of vision. Each time we talk about vision, they run away. Each time we talk about prophecy, they run away. What is prophecy if not the word of God? If not the presence of God? If not God walking in the cool of the day how can a man hear god if he's not silent if he's not mute if he can't just listen to his spirit and allow the spirit to speak now men who hear the spirit come to say what the spirit says because the presence of god carries light and it exposes them they run away from it they want to come to letter which is darkness we have blindness and wasting and destruction we savage them macaronically they run from the presence of god the same way Damina is teaching you people how to run from the presence of God, run from prophecy. The Bible says, despise not prophesying, quench not the spirit. These men have quenched the spirits. These men have died. He said, a place where there is no vision, the people perish. These people perish daily because there is no vision among them. Vision is light and that is the presence of God. When light comes, darkness disappears. Just the same way I'm giving us the word of God, the light of God, the oracles of God and it's making things clear to those who want to hear. Those of you who don't want to hear, you know the truth already, even as you are hearing it. But you have the blood of the viper in you. Jesus said, "Ye generation of viper. John the Baptist said, "Ye generation of the viper. It means there are people who are in the lineage of Satan. Just as Satan entered the loins of Adam, and from there, it started spreading. 
So Jesus had to come with the method of born again so that he can bring men back to the lineage of God. And this man taught you people that you are not born a sinner. Why? To retain you people in the lineage of Satan so that that blood of viper can continue. And he said from innocence to, 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 to righteousness, drunkard. Now verse 9. And the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? Child of God, where are you people? Because God is not seeing you people. You are not standing before him. No. In the spirit realm, there is too much vacancy. Many thrones are vacant. And God needs people to feed his throne. And if you refuse to, to, to put that apron you are wearing and wear a good cloth, a good, and, and go for the truth, someone else will take your seats and you will go to hell. Verse 10, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Men who are naked, men who are hiding themselves from the truth. And God said, and he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? So who told you? Who told you? Even your conscience can bear witness that these things I'm saying is true. But you still choose. You still, you are running from it. A man is making the path of hell broad for you people. And you say he's making the commandment light for you people. Keep eating tight. Criminals. Verse 12. And the man said, The woman who thou gavest to me, with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did it. The day that you people will give accounts on how you ate the tithe, many of you will say it's Damina, but you will suffer, and both Damina will suffer. Verse 13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did it. Even Damina will give account how he allowed the powers in the firmament to, to teach him this nonsense he's, teach, he's teaching the people. The Bible said, the spirit of truth shall guide you. It means if you are not guided, if you are not governed, if you are not protected, you will hit toe. You will jam rock. A man went to seek knowledge without guidance. Verse 14, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the feet. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thy dust, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Days are coming. Days are coming. When the arrival of the young prophet will take place, and Damina will be crushed, his ministry will begin to crawl. It will begin to crawl. This speed you are seeing, you won't see it again. All this bobozy attitude will quench. And you will see him in a dungeon, hidden in a dungeon. He will run away from the internet. Shame will fill his face because he has taught nonsense. Verse 15, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. Now, is there not enmity already? If you, even though if you go to the comment section, you see enmity. Those who believe in Damina, those who don't believe in Damina, there is war already. You people are the children of the serpent. Believe what I'm saying. You are from that lineage. Better disconnect yourself. Go and get born again and cancel all those nonsense he's teaching you people. A man sold apron and gave it to you people to wear. And you were very comfortable wearing apron. Adulterous people. Immoral people. People who, who practice disorderliness. They refused to follow the doctrine, the path of right. The Bible said they forsook, they forsook the, the highway and followed the byway. It is the, the, the broad way that he has taken you people to, not the narrow path. Because many will follow the broad way, but very few will pass through the narrow. That's to tell you, it is hard. It is hard. So they said, I am Moses' brother and David's brother. That makes the law heavy. Look at what Jesus said. He said, few will pass through the narrow. That it will be very difficult for many to what, pass through it. That it is few. And a man came and made something very light and you people followed because it's very light and you think the destination is heaven you are not serious a man sold a prone and gave you people to wear and you felt very comfortable the bible said in romans put ye on the lord jesus christ put ye on the lord jesus christ what you people are wearing is not the lord jesus christ no a lawless life a life that cannot give account even jesus did not the Bible say he did not come to condemn Moses' law but to fulfill it? And while fulfilling that law, we saw how he healed people and told them to go and show themselves to the priest and do according to the law of Moses. But drunkard came here to do something different from what Jesus came to do. In my next episode, I will show you people things about that from the old and the new testament, and I will make it very clear to you to see how you people are criminals. Criminals, the Bible says he that is guilty of one sin is guilty of all. So you being criminal, you, you can't make heaven, even as Adeboye said, you can't. 
because you are breaking the law no really no really you are doing it deliberately you know that this thing is wrong and you the bible says he that knows what is right and refuse to do it to him is a sin child of god even your uh, people around you you give them money how much more to honor god you are not giving god because god needs it it's, it's a way to honor it's a honor it's a law of obedience god is testing your obedience that is why he said don't touch that fruit in the garden god could have as well removed the fruit from the garden but he kept it there to see how obedient these people can be. You see disobedient fellows refusing to keep God's commandment. And they are there teaching you, does God eat tight? Did God, does God eat the, 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 the forbidden fruit? Does he eat fruits? Yet he said they should not touch it. When God said don't touch, don't touch. It is not issue of money here. No, it is the issue of obedience and disobedience. And the Bible said if you, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But when you disobey, you shall be devoid by the sword. This man has exposed you people to judgment and destruction and you still listen to him. I, I don't have time to, to, to do much on tight. But when I come in my next episode, when I'm true, you will understand how foolish you people have been. And how much of a criminal you people have been knowing what is wrong and what is right and you choose to do the wrong one you are guilty of all so when adeboye said that if you don't pay your tithe you will go to her he was right he spoke the oracles but he did not paraphrase or to explain better but i have done some explanation in my next message i will explain better you will see how many of you will go to her because you didn't pay tithe tithe is not the path to heaven it's not the salvation no but is god make that law and he expected you to obey. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. So when you disobey, they, they are no longer seen tight here. What they are seeing is disobedience. So disobedience can take man to hell. Understand it from that angle. So it's not tight now that is taking you to hell, but disobedience. So if I'm able to prove to you that it's lawful to pay tight, even in the New Testament, then you will know that you are disobedient. And if you know that you are disobedient, then know that you are going to hell. This is the voice of heaven. Son of David, wisdom is crying in the streets of YouTube. Prophecy is fulfilling in their time before their eyes, yet they do not comprehend or understand because they are carnal. They have eyes they do not see, they have ears they do not hear. They that serve them are like them. Why should a man follow the he goat and still believe that he is wise? Prohadush, Rini Masopri Hilea, Parodea Namashoi. The black goat is bragging around before them. Before them, the he goat is bragging around. Before them, oh, before them, the black goat is bragging around. Before them, oh, before them, the he goat is bragging around. Before them, oh, before them. Before them, before their own very eyes. How come they read the letters and wait for fantasy to be when the oracle is already playing out? Oh, play now. Yeah, they do not see to understand the word of God. The black goat is bragging around. Before them, oh, before them, the he goat is bragging around. Before them, oh, before them, 